this is my Victorian project and I decided since we're spending so much time at home I want to show you the cool things in my house that are Victorian. First we're going to talk about Victorian front gardens. So Victorian front gardens mainly had a very small and they mainly had a privet hedge that gave them privacy and they could cut them in all to shapes and animals and what's that called? A uh, topiary. Topiary. And what about this hedge? What shape is this hedge? This hedge is just a big rectangle. <laughs> Next thing about Victorians is the entranceways. Normally they would have tiles. And that would normally be multicoloured or black and white. The interesting thing about our entranceway is that we still have a cobble which we'll talk to you about in a moment and we're going to show you some examples from our neighbours. This is example of one of our neighbours who restored their Victorian tiles and as you can see there's loads of black and white but also sort of like an orangey red. The coal hole. This is a coal hole and during the Victorian era they would have coal holes for open fires because that means that they don't have like electric things that you can use to make a fire they have to actually put coal and light it up so the coal man would come in use a special tool to get it open and just pour it down there without getting all soot through the house on to we'll show you uh it where it goes it's called a coal cellar in just a moment now we're underneath the house this is uh the coal cellar and uh, in the Victorian area, it would look like this, but a little, well, a lot more dusty because of loads of coal dust. As you can have a little close look. You can't really see much in there. Yeah, there's uh, there should be a few pieces of coal from it was last used, which is pretty creepy and interesting. But yeah, it's sorry if it's a bit, you know, mucky because someone threw something in there. But yeah, we're... Going no, what, what, what would they do to get the coal out? They would so get someone to actually, like, can you believe being someone going in there and grabbing coal and, like, coming out there and giving them to it? Would you want to go in there but even more dusty? Didn't think so. Let's get out of here before I get the chip willies. A common feature of a Victorian house was uh, multicoloured bricks. The reason for this is as they had trains, it was easier to transport different coloured bricks. And as the Victorians said, loved different coloured bricks, they were like, you know what, we're going to use them. And what's this called, Daddy? Uh, that's Imperial Yellow, I think. Cool. And there's a pattern, isn't there? Yeah, they do one long brick, one short brick, which is kind of the pattern they started using in the Victorian era. Are there any other features of Victorian houses that people used to do? They uh, used to have faces, and um, you can also see just on here, they also had different coloured, um, well not coloured, but different sort of carvings of maybe flowers, maybe other features that they wanted to use. This is a, a Victorian style fireplace, it's not an original but it's a replica. As you can see it normally has an arch and yeah it also had pretty elaborate sort of carvings on the wood and this would not be here there would probably be like multicolored tiles all over the place and yeah as you can see there's coal in here because that's what they would do they would just add in coal and i think they would get someone to light it up and then because they did not have any heating. And, and how did they clean the fireplaces? They got a chimney sweep to go up here. As a child. Yeah, as a child, to go up here. Well, you can push that, you can push that open. Whoa. Keep pushing. We keep pushing, we'll just keep it in place. There you Whoa. go. But and, yeah, so. And that's where they'd have to climb up. You yeah, see how small that space is. Yeah, so they would have to climb up there. Whoa pretty dark wow and but don't worry they didn't have to do it like every day it was only like once a 
Yeah, yeah. Because it would just build up soot and soot and soot and then it would probably just clog the fireplace up. So, yeah. And sometimes they would get them to stand up on the roof, hold the big, like, brush and, like, dangle the child with the feet and just go, scrub, scrub, scrub. I wouldn't want to do that if I were you. Last but definitely not least is the ceiling. So the Victorians like to do loads of coping because uh, they like nice big airy spaces and they would only put it in the front room because it was very expensive. Oh, and how, how tall is the ceiling? Uh, it's, I think it's nine, ten feet, something like that. <sighs> yeah, they like high ceilings. And what's on this coping? When you turn your head, you can see many different things, which I love about it. Thanks for listening to my Victorian project, and bye!